This is Dave Gimberline. This is January 18th, 2021. <laughs> and uh, welcome to today's home training session. Happy Martin Luther King Day to all you people celebrating. Uh, let's start. Uh, oh, I'm going to tell you about the class. Uh, this class we first designed to be a live streaming class on Facebook, and it didn't work. It uh, was my first attempt at live streaming anything, and some things you should uh, practice before you actually try them for real. So in the future, if I have a live training session, I will practice making sure it all works like it's supposed to. So we have no recording of the whole first half of the class, um, so we'll do it now. Uh, feet together, out. Pick up one foot. Go around with your ankle and toes. Switch away. Other foot. Other way. Feet together around with your knees. Other way. Feet apart. Around with your hips. Switch. Use your legs. Pump your arms around. Switch. Cross. Twist. Look behind you. Take nice deep breaths. And kick up your heels. Put one leg out in front. Kick up your back leg, hit your hands. One, swing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet, kick a little harder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, squatting. Put your feet up behind you. Arch. Pushing back. Forward. Feet in, squat it, keep it up, stretching down and forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, reach over one shoulder, switch, side, switch. Around with your torso. Switch. And stop. Straighten one leg. Switch. 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 Switch and drop down. Switch. 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 Switch and switch. Rotate all the way over. Stretch the outside of your thigh. Again, breathe deep. Back. Over. Back. Over. Back. Over. And back. Switch over the other side. All the way over. 
Hook to the outside of your thigh. Back. Over. Back. Over. Back. Over. And back. Pull your feet in. Spine. Straighten your legs and stretch down. Roll up. Roll with your hips. Switch, side side, squeeze, one knee up into your chest, switch, 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 and switch, reach around behind, grab an ankle, switch, switch, and switch, show your legs, Turn, straight uniforms. The dojo floor was not properly prepared. As I started to say, we designed this for the live training, and the goal is to keep moving for the whole time, so that's mostly what it is. <coughs> now as it happens, I ate about 45 minutes ago, which I should not have done. <sighs> so, this will be more challenging. A friend of mine, somebody was complaining about training after a big meal. And the guy said, well, what happens if you get attacked coming out of a restaurant? And he's like, oh, you're right. We have to train. <laughs> so there's always a good reason. So this first section, we're going to take one pattern out of each kata and just repeat it a bunch of times, with the exception of hand shodan, where we take two. So feet together and bow. I'm going to face this way for a couple times. Feet apart, you're going to step to your left and do a downward block, one, and I know this part isn't in the kata, but you're going to draw back and do a hammer for strike, two, step and punch, three. Now just turn and face the other way, one, turn, two, three, go back the other way, one, two, three, one, two, Three. Back. So Malia and James, I think you should move towards the camera. And both of you turn and face that way to the right. Yep. Um, so no, no, Malia, you got that. So not in line with each other. Man, this is tough. You've seen like the Three Stooges and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to do a downward block, a hammer fist strike, and a step and punch to your left. And then you're going to turn 180 degrees and do it to your right. Yep. And you're just going to keep doing that till I get tired of counting. Malia, that was not right. Mm -hmm. So everybody, uh, also, use this time of warming up to kind of get yourself in the groove and refine yourself. So make sure maybe that your bones extend out into a good stance, good hip position, and your drawing arm pulls back the other way, all the way into your foot. And then you do your body, and then you pull. Just commit, there's no big hurry, so take your time. Okay, here we go again. Standing up, to your left. One, two, uh-oh, oops, three. One, two, three. One, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hi up. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Same series. And again, this is kind of just getting in the groove. We're not gonna break all these down that much. Try to make sure that your legs and body are doing the work and that your arms are just the result. 
So a handy place to feel that is on these hammer fist strikes. Your body pulls and throws it back. It, this is just the whippy part. Boom, boom. This does the work. Out, back, out. So kind of try to get that. Uh, Rachel, your hips are too straight on the downward block. More sideways. Yep, that's okay. And then on the downward block, hold that. Uh, yeah. This is not my arm going like this. This is my body swinging, and my arms are just a, a little bit behind, and he happens to be in the way. Can you see? Try to feel like that. This does all the work. This is just one, two, three, and your body does the work. Good dry arm. Here we go. I'll be a mirror. One, two, three. 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 All right, mate. Oh, that was better. I want to point out that while we're doing the repetition, you want to get a good body coordination. So all of you got better with repetition. What I want is your body to move, your arm to move, and they go whack, same time, same time, same time. But sometimes hip, arm, body, arm, it's just a little off. So as we go through all of these, try to improve it to where it starts to hit at the same time. Okay, uh, Hayon showed on the rising block part. So, well, your left leg and forward, downward block. Left leg forward, downward block. And two, now we're just new one. Three rising blocks moving forward. One twist, two twist, three twist, turn downward block. One, two, three, turn downward block. One, two, three. Just take your back foot over, turn downward block. One, uh, no, so this is a 180 degree turn. Right now, we're just going back and forth across the same spot all the time. Yep, so everybody put your left leg forward. Three rising blocks. One, two, three. Uh, move your back leg over and turn, downward block. One, two, three. Okay, everybody is now doing the right thing. That's good. Uh, we're going to break this into two counts. I want to point out two things. One is during the first half of the motion, your drawing hand is going to come up and cover your face. And your body is going to stay straight. So you're going from here to here, straight. Elbows are in, head is up, body is straight. This is like, uh, they sometimes say the bow of a ship or the edge of a a sword cutting through. Then you're going to pull your drawing arm down through your center, through your hip, to the floor, and that pull is the turn part. Two. Okay, we're going to move forward. So let's start again with our left leg forward so we're all doing the same thing. Left leg forward. One. Three quarters of a step. Two. Twist. One. Three quarters of a step. 
step. Your elbows feel like they're being pulled towards the middle, both in front and in back. Two. Three quarters of a step. One. Two. Turn. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Turn. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Turn. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Turn up. Hi, right, rest for a second. Rachel, you're doing awesome. That's exactly the right thing to do, especially when your cat's not in the way. Uh, Neil, keep your head up all the time. Sometimes you look down when you're thinking. Keep it up and say hi to Ifa. Uh, Malia and James. James, you have to make sure you twist your hip. Because sometimes you do, really awesome, and sometimes you just do your hand and you totally forgot your hip. Malia, you seem to be turning your hip most of the time, but you also turn your head this way. And you have to keep looking where you're going. So, one count, rising blocks. Ready? Left leg forward. One, cover, strike. Two, three, turn. One, 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 two, three, turn. So now you've got your left foot in front, everybody, on the mirror, put out your right hand. Uh, inside block this way, hit, block, one, and then kick, punch, two, one, two, one, two, turn, counter punch out. One, two, one, two, one, two, turn, counter punch out. So I know I've explained this before quite a bit to people. Uh, I do not do, usually, the small turn to a block. Uh, I've even seen instructors teach it where your hand stays here and it just twists, which has a few applications, but it's not great. In mine, the person is punching at my head, and I'm going to knock that down and then come back. So it's a one, two, three, four, drilling in. One, two, three, four. So the block is on here. That's a strike. Then you kick, and then you strike. Okay, so keep that in mind as we do it over and over and over again. Here we go. Left leg in front, right arm out. So a little wind up is okay you have to kind of cover your face. Knock it down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Turn. Counter punch out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, uh, wrong foot, James, or wrong hand, 
Wrong hand ones. Ah, both. Two, three. Uh, turn. And so now everybody's got, everybody put your left foot in front. We're going to try one count, and you're doing fine. The only thing I want to point out here is here there is a lot of hip twist on this block, which might mean that you're going to adjust your foot to turn. That's fine. And then after the kick, make sure you recoil so that this can drive forward for your punch. So there is a shock for the kick, there's a shock for the punch. They both start from your center and from your base leg. One count, block, kick, punch. So everybody has their right arm out, left leg forward. One, block, kick, punch. Two, block, strike, kick, punch. Three, block, strike, kick, punch. Turn. One, block, strike, kick, punch. Two, block, strike, kick, punch. Three, block, strike, kick, punch. Turn. Awesome, Rachel. Let your front foot uh, become your new base. So what I want you to do is adjust this just enough that it is now my back leg for the next action. And sometimes you pull it back so far that it, it didn't, it wasn't a new base. But everything else looks really good, just right. Nice structure. Couple more. Left leg forward, counter punch out. One. Kick punch. Two. Three. Turn. One. Block, strike, kick, punch. Two, block, strike, kick, punch. Three, block, strike, kick, punch. Turn it up. High rest for just a moment. Share your legs. Hands on down. Uh, the move from hands on down, sort of like this. You're going to pick up your right leg, uh, come down and turn, and then back this straight. We'll do three, then we'll turn, then we'll do three, then we turn. Let's just start and see how it goes. So I'm a mirror for a little bit. Uh, can you go down there? Can I face you? Yeah. Right. One, up, down, go. Two, up, down, go. Three, up, down, go. Now to turn, you just look the other way. Turn. One, up, down, go. Two, three, turn. One, two, three, Turn, one, two, three, turn, high up for just a second, so we're going to work on this for a minute. Um, there's a couple parts I usually work on for this. Here's this part. Uh, I want you to imagine that somebody is holding your elbow just lightly, and I'm making pressure from here to here to here to the floor this way. Down, 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 turning. It's a light pressure. So you're blocking with your elbow. And over here. This way. This way. It's past your belly button by a lot. There you go. Then you unwind from here, from the floor, through your inner thigh, through your center, up and over. So your legs block and your legs strike. Try a couple. Pretty good. Okay, so I am not at all saying that's the application. 
but it's the body dynamic I want you to do. Try your other arm. Squeeze across, strike up. Squeeze across, strike up. All right. We're waiting just a moment. James, keep your head up when you turn. Just turn. All right. Keep your head up. Not bending over. Not bending over. Stay straight. Ah, yeah, I like that. And there's just a slight feeling of down towards your foot. And then you let it go and it comes up. So uh, put your hands on your hips. Squeeze them in tight. Put your elbow slightly in front of your body if you can. So your shoulders are on the front half, your elbows on the front half, your hand is in your hip joint, the hip knob. So stand there, face that way. Oh. So you pull enough that you can feel this. Like there's weight on your back, your right foot. Turn, 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 turn. And then don't hit her in the face, release. Two, boom, boom. Don't stand so close. Pull, two. Okay, can you feel that? All right, everybody do that. Here we go. Yeah, you can do that, that's good. One, up, down, turn. Two, up, down, turn. Three, turn. One, up, down, turn. Two, up, down, turn. Three, up, down, turn. Excellent. Okay, here's the next part. It has to do with this leg lifting thing. There's two parts to it. We're going to do this part first. You are going to pick your leg up, and your center is going to compress. This is going to be your control area. So you can pick your leg up and grab your leg and sink into the floor for control. Then you use this to drive down into the floor. There are many people who teach you that your hip has to be straight, let's see, straight this way, and then pivot. I'm not a believer in that. It, it serves no useful function that I can find. Let your hip go past halfway. So maybe you're a two thirds, three quarter turn, something like that. And then you can use that for the stomp. There are many more useful applications for that. So let your hip turn. And what you'll find is people teach it with their hips straight. And then if you watch them do the kata, they let their hip turn. Because it's just a more natural way to go. So, two counts. Coil and you can grab your leg if you want. One, squeeze. Two, down, turn. Other leg. One, squeeze. Two, down. One, squeeze, two, down, or reach your butt out a little bit. Turn, other way. One, squeeze, two. One, squeeze, two. Rachel, that was excellent. That was good. Now everybody, first count, squeeze this way. Second count, twist. Third count, Back to strike. Three counts. One, hold. Two, down. Three, strike. One, hold. Two, down. Three, strike. One, hold. Two, down. Three, strike. Uh, keep making room for yourself. Everybody seems to be adjusting anyway. One, squeeze. Two, turn. Three, strike. One more. One, two, three. When I say one more, I really meant one more series. One, two, three. Yep. So, Rachel, sorry to pick on you. On one side, your right side, your leg tends to come straight up and straight down, which is what I want you to do. On your left side, it tends to come way around and then up. Nope, don't do that. <laughs> up through the middle. You did sit it now though, right? You still did it. So pretend there's an 
irritating small person right here, and your goal is to hit them with your knee. Better. Now you're leaning forward because it's a muscle memory problem. That was better. Yep, and at no point did I say that was a small child. All right, and then, um, everybody's doing that part great. That is kind of the control training part. So this squeeze is very similar to a front snap kick recoil. Okay, I have a base. Boom, now I can move and do the next thing. So that's that squeeze. Now you need the dynamic part. And by the, well, this trains many things. The first move from Basse Dai, a couple moves in Heian Godan, uh, this move here. So as we've discussed before, if I pick something like my knee up, it really only goes this far. If I grab it and pull it, it goes further, and when I let go, it flies away. Okay, it's your body's natural elasticity. It's a bounce. So I want this part to stay stable, and I want this part to bounce up, down. So we're going to do this. It'll be similar. I want you to coil your leg, grab it, and squeeze it as far as you can. One, and let it go. Two. One, squeeze it in. Two. One, two, one, two. Okay, now you have to get that bounce without holding your leg. So you're gonna go one, up, down, up, down. Ready? One, up, down. Two, up, down. Three, four. I don't care, you can switch directions whenever you need to because you all three have different spaces. Now try to do the arms. So this is the weird thing. If you break it down into counts, this control point helps. You go one, two, three. That makes, that's easier to control. When you add the bounce in there, you still have to have the same squeeze and same dynamics. So now you go one, two, three. That bounce is still on the inside. Papa. So give it a try. Ready? One, up, down, go. Two, three, four, five. I gotta say, everybody, that looks fantastic. That's way better. More dynamic, more body, more legs. Moving on. And you dot. I forgot what part I did. Oh yeah, I remember. One, two, four, five. All right. To make this work so that you switch sides each time, you have to kind of start with a... Uh, oh. Let's say a left hand right now. Left hand, knife hand block. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Do an augmented block. One, two, moving forward. Three, now reach. Four, knee strike. Five, six. Okay, this will work. Now move forward. One, two, Three, so this is the wrong side now. No, everybody should have your right leg in front, right? With your augmented block. Then reach. Four, five, six. Augmented block moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, Two, three, four, five, six, one. So it looks like everybody should have their right leg, left leg in front. Left, 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 left. Two, three, now you reach. Four, five, six. Step forward, augmented block. One, two, 
three, then reach forward, four, so this is your wrong side, five, six, all right, good job, high up for a second, so the deal is that it is a oral tradition to claim that karate uses your whole body, which it's supposed to, it does, that's great, but it was primarily made up by right-handed people to defend against other right-handed people. So there is a ton of stuff you do on one side that you don't do on the other side. So every once in a while, if you work out the other side, it'll help. So in Heian Shodan, I made you do this on the wrong side, but it got better. It didn't take that long before it started to feel like And there are some kata that do that. Uh, not modern Shodokan kata, but old versions of Heian and Pinan that had that in there. Uh, and who knows, maybe every time you're going to hit somebody with your right knee, and that one time you might need to do it with your left, if you've never practiced it before, that would be a problem. So the only thing I want to correct on this one part, and then we're just going to keep doing it a little bit more, is the draw on the augmented block. And I've learned this many, many different ways, down here, back here, wrist to wrist, elbow to wrist, lots of stuff, and I keep changing it, then they change this, this way, this way, this way, this way, don't have to touch, must touch, be on, it, all kinds of stuff. So eventually you have to figure out what works best for you, and I will tell you how to do it my way. <laughs> so what I want you to do on this wind up part is cover your face, one, two. So if he is throwing a punch at me, my face, is covered, right? And if I'm clever, I'll use my knee to hit, and then I'll come across and hit. So the wind-up again is the block. Now, if I misjudge, and he wasn't trying to punch me in the face, he was instead trying to punch me in the body, it turns out I'm okay. Look, I got both my arms here. So it's a pretty good block. And then you come in and hit. And if I was closer, instead of just winding up and then hitting, I might come across his face on the way out and on the way back. Boom, 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 boom. Whatever there's room for. So, yeah, the ones where you hit the guy by accident. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Those are good ones. The ones where you can barely reach the guy, that, that's a bad application. It doesn't work. You're starting in the wrong place, something. Question, Rachel? Yeah. Um, can you show um, the transition where you're blocking your face before the augmented block? Um, can you show how you would do that when transitioning from one augmented block to another augmented block? All right, so I'm going to do it first face in this little camera. Uh, let's say I'm, well, it doesn't matter where I am. I cover across here, there's my face, and then I hit. Next one, bottom up, covers my face. And then I go, not, not quite so much, not like that, just like a high outside block. So, uh, we'll do sideways and see. So, John throws a punch and I cover, and then I hit. He throws a punch, oh, cover, and then I hit. So part of what makes this work is that I'm moving in as it goes. So I don't want to be here, I want to be in here by the time that punch gets there. It's a different dynamic. And there are variations that are kind of important. So uh, for those of you, Neil and Rachel, who have been around long enough for me to talk about pressure points a little bit, I want to scrape it towards the thumb. So when I hit him, whoa, I give it a good zap and his hand goes blimp and then I smack him. I'd probably hit across here on his neck or across here on his jaw, depending on what was most accessible. But uh, that's assuming I'm out here somewhere where his punch is. If I'm in here, like I said, the target is going to switch to being on top of his forearm right here, right above, right on this side of his elbow. And I want to hit it, twist it, and stretch it down. So on this one, I'm going to go down, out, and see his arm hang. It numbs, it numbs your arm. So, uh, other, that worked, but try your other hand. Uh, that's all right. You can hit each other later. The, um, the, the reason that matters 
is if I block and leave his hand up there, he might wind up and hit me with it again, over and over again, because that he's intent on that's what he wants to do. He might, he might get two or three of them off before I get to him. If I knock it down, it tends to take it out of play and it brings his head forward, which makes that a lot better. And that movement, instead of one, two, like I told you, is gonna to start to look like one, two. So all the styles that kind of do elbow to elbow and out, or that go to a hand stack like this and then out, they're not wrong, that's totally, that works, that fits the pattern. So, one more battle about these augmented blocks. The augmented block, we almost never use, because in Kumite, what good is it, right? But it's super effective in real life, and it's most basic ideas that you cover, and you hit the guy at the same time. Most basic. Bam. If you can move forward, which is what we're going to do, then you go into the guy and come across. So then you go one, two, instead of one. And in Heian Yondan, I suggest they both exist. So it looks like one, two, three, three blocks and a two-handed thing. But I think it's two sets of block strike, block strike. So he throws a punch, and I was over here in Han Yondan. You go one, two. See that? In that case, probably my left hand blocked because it was closer. But I'm moving in, two. So that's one, ba, ba, one action. Can you kind of see how that works? And then I want a second option, which I think is, again, a consistent theme in the Heian katas and other katas, they show you their favorite series over and over, and then they have a, well, if that doesn't work, then do this. They have a secondary backup plan. So my first action was to go one, two. My second action is to go one, two. Right? Yeah. He was afraid. No, yeah, oh, that just touched it. <laughs> All right, sorry. One, two, and then you knee him. Yeah. So see how there's two things? Uh, one, two is one. One, two is one. There's two different options from the same basic defense. And as John pointed out, besides just reaching for the guy's head, you can poke him in the eye with your finger. You can poke him in the eye with your thumb. You can hit him in the jaw. You can clap his ear. You can hit him in the neck. You can do a million things to this guy that is more effective than me just going, give me your head. Bang. You can hit it while you're out there. So, oh, and the other fallacy is you're not grabbing the head and then pulling the head down and kneeing it. That's too far, this is much closer. So you're pulling, but knee, inner thigh, groin, lower stomach, not head. Unless you are very athletic and you enjoy jumping, then jump up there and knee him in the head. Yep, but don't pull his head down, it won't work. Back to Anyonda. So this is way more talking than I did in the live one. In the live one, we just kept moving. Not that we're not live now. I feel alive. Are you alive? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're good yeah. damage. <laughs> well, I'm partially blind. But... All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> He's got two eyes. All right. Uh, here we go. I'll be a mirror again. One. Two, three, four, five, six. One, I'm going to block. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Three, four, five, six. That's enough. Everybody got that? It looked better. It looked more balanced. This one's easier. Here we go. Hang on, you uh, go down. Uh, sorry, the two depart. I again will be a mirror. How about if you're over there? Okay, see you. Yep. So just right here, you go one, two, three. One, two, 
three, and then just keep doing that. One, two, three. 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 Rachel, look to your right. One, pull your drawing arm a little bit more. Two, three. Okay, um, so I guess there's a couple things we usually work on here. One is your body, that natural elasticity again. You want it to wrap and go. So it's important that your torso stays straight because if you buckle, you won't get the dynamic out of it. It stays straight. Again, my elbow only goes this far. I pull a little bit further, it bounces back. So try that just in place. One, two, three. Try your other arm. One, two, three. Pretty good. Try your other arm. This time, time your drawing arm so that it ends and you have pressure in your foot when your block ends. So you're going to pull. One, pull. Two, pull. Three, pull. Other arm. One, two, three. Other arm. One, two, three. Other arm. One, two, three. Okay. So now you're going to do the step on the third count. We're going to try to make the blocks feel exactly the same. So you're going to go one, pull, two, pull, three, pull, and just put your foot up. Ready? Start it over. One, two, three, and we can stand up. One, two, three, stand up. One, two, three. Uh, Neil, pull your drawing arm more. One, two, three. Really good, Rachel. All right. Um, we're going to have a fourth count. The three that you do, see if you can think of pulling your elbow to your elbow, but also you have to make pressure down in your stomach. So some people emphasize this so much that they arch their back and they pull back with both shoulders. Don't do that. This stays intact. You're going to go one, two, three. Oh, pulling, pulling, pulling. The release of this pull goes the other way. Four. And then you draw up. One. All right, so start over. We're going to go to our left. Four counts. One, two, step, three, four. Draw five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Keep your knee out, Rachel. Yep. Five. One, two, Three, four, five. All right, check out your legs just a little bit. Um, you have to figure out how I'll do this one. How to rotate your hip without letting your knee buckle in. So it's the same in techie or in some of the other kata. You can't keep stiff and move your hips, it doesn't work. These have to be soft, these have to be soft, so your knee moves this way, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, not in and out. So you go one, two, it goes that way to make your hip, give yourself room to turn. 
Much better, Rachel, that was awesome. Three, let's try the other side. Twist, pull. Sometimes with hand go does, because now you know about using your legs, using the elasticity, and using the rubber band where you stretch and then you go. So try to get all of those things in there. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, three. 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 Okay, so now the first two are going to blend together. One pom, rubber bandy. Ready? One, two, three. 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 Hey, okay. All five hang on kata. One time through. <coughs> With no breaks in between. So we're going to stand up, announce the next kata, and keep going. Which is how both Nakayama and Furukoshi said you were supposed to go. Uh, take a step forward. I'm going to be a mirror, probably. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it normal. Hey. Uh, hey, on, children. Hey, sure. Boy. One, two. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two. One, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. All right, handy done. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, one, two. Boy. And sign up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is that right? Four. One, you're right. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. Okay, hey, on your own One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, 
Sensei Furukoshi meant it to be. So the only thing left was the techie that never ends. And uh, let's go through techie once or twice first, and then we'll do the techie that never ends. Now, techie showed up. Boy. One, two. I was ninety percent sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. Boy. My wrist. <coughs> Any question on that kata? Everybody seemed to follow along just fine. So all I want to do, I guess, is encourage you to use your hips here, reach, pull, hit, or here, twist, so your body turns when it's supposed to turn, or here, turn, try to get your hips to move. And then that dynamic, that squeeze, it happens uh, every time you cross over, both of those sensations that we practice. There's a squeeze and a go, and there's a bounce. Up, down, they both happen. You just gotta, whichever one you need to concentrate on, you use at that time. <clears throat> and the elbow across your center, if you're winding up here, they match, up, down. If you are doing this, they match. Up, down, this bounces, this bounces. It's all way fun. Uh, Malia, don't knock so much to the outside, more just the middle of you. All right, well, the techie that never ends. This is a tradition in our region, uh, a rite of passage. When I passed my brown belt test, they did this to me for 20 minutes. I had never seen it before, and I think it was after, uh, slaughter lines after the kumite part. So uh, the technique that never ends, you will just catch on to. We are only going to do it for five minutes and then we'll be done with class. So uh, I will watch on the clock. And for the part where it never ends, you'll figure that out in just a minute. Mm -hmm. Out. Techie shoran. Boy. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, 
Two. One. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. One, two, three, four. One. Two. One. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. One. Rotate, rotate, try, try. Two. Three. One. One. Two. Three. One. Two. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. One. Two. Three. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, continue. Tired, bend your legs more. Sink, use your legs. straight body. Use your center on each move. Turn, turn, truck. All right, start to pick up the speed a little bit. Reach, spirit. Bah, bah, bah. Breathe through your feet. Hey. Hey, rest. There you go. Your introduction to the techie that never ends. Any questions? Okay, we're done now. Thank you all for training. Class dismissed. Hope to see you Wednesday. Wait, is it Monday? Yes, hope to see you Wednesday. Right.